hello everyone this is Amranil here and today we are going to create landing page tutorial so welcome back to our channel and we are at shopify.com and we are going to use pagefly so before we go further obviously we need to click on login and we are going to log in with our Sh shopify account obviously i'm going with my alternate account for this tutorial i'm just going to click on stc Amranil and you will end up over here on this landing page so after this you can see there are multiple things over here and uh, on the left side you will find multiple options too so if we click on apps you can see that i have already installed an app called pagefly so obviously you can do that too so if we click on like uh, this you will end up over here so right now we are going to create a landing page right so on the left side you have so many options obviously you are going to create from there you will have analytics also that how many people are visiting on your landing page click on page and you can see that regular pages sections you have sections also obviously and pages click on regular page and this is you will find for your landing page and obviously these all are templates they are showing right now and if we click on create a template they will show more template and create a blank page if you want to go with a blank page but I would prefer don't go with that so I'm going to create a template click on template and on the left side you have some categories which also include landing page click on landing page these all are like uh, categories for the different templates they are showing and obviously you can filter it out with these categories so we are going to create landing page right so this is the landing page we are going to use and also you can preview it from the desktop uh, point of view and also from the mobile so these are device previews also and select this template I don't know I don't know why it's not showing right now my internet might be slow right now so just click on select this template and it will load up very quickly I know that yeah so this is what we have right now so on the left side you have so many options on the right side you have no options but but why I will show you so here you can see this blue line this blue box called so if you click on this the first one show page outline because this is already made up right click on show page outline and you can see these are sections so the first section which one it is which one it is you can see this is the first section so click on it this is the first section under this you will find that there's a row how to find row this is a row this green line is a row so this is a row and there are two columns the one with this the one with this so i think if we go ahead and open this you can see that in this column this column is the right one and this one is the left one so if we are going to close this you can see it won't show anything just remember you can see that click to show on current device remember to open this eye if you want to show on a specific device and if you don't want to show on a specific device like you don't want this to show on your website but you also want this to show on your mobile so how it works so obviously we have like uh, hidden our eye from here but if you want to change uh, like if you want to show on my uh, on our mobile we need to go over here device view mode mobile and you will see that it hasn't been like close because we have to do that individually so just remember that this is a very big tip so in my opinion most of the people don't know about it and most of the people forget about this so yeah you can just go ahead and do that otherwise you can also close it from here then you can not show this section to your mobile phone mobile website so yeah click on it i'm just gonna leave it as it is so i'm just telling you because this is a tutorial and beginning tutorial especially so for the beginning tutorial i think it's a lot for like in my opinion it's a lot so let's just close this so as you can see this is the header you can add header if you want so this is a different section and you can add footer too if you want and you can select different sections also if you want to do that like separately if you want to edit them this is the section and this is the row this green line is a row obviously on the from the left side to the right side and they have added two columns over here now if we click on this you can see on the right side there are multiple properties over here everything you will be going to click on here it has their properties on the right side you can see you can change it you can change background uh, obviously picture uh, I don't know why I said background but yeah you can change it 
and you can change the border also you can change the border color display like and this is the coding that uh, pre-made recording so don't need that obviously uh custom colors if you want to add you can do that too and uh, if you click on the raw you can see that uh it has their own like column sorry this is the column this yellow one is a column if we click on the column you can see it has on uh, properties not because of this it has this box it has on property i hope you're getting my point so yeah hide on desktop like you want to hide this portion like i have told you before like how you can do that too so this is all also available over here you can add animations too you can add attributes if you want and actions if you want like if you click on it how it will pop up like open pop up scroll to section so this is all looking you go to the styling and you can change it to these colors i don't know what is changing but it does change something i don't know what it is maybe something not here that's why so after this you can just go and scroll down and you can see that you can move this section this whole section you can move it from the like from the above and down if you want to do that you can do that too you can download this section you can edit this obviously you can duplicate it you can delete it so this is all on you so on the left side if we click on element you can see that there are multiple things also what do you need to do like obviously you need something to add on your website so everything you want to add it will be available in this add element option this is the section which you can like put it up right over here if you want to, like grab it and put it over here it will be added between these two so this is what we have right now and this is a different section now so we have column also over here we have rows also here so it's there like uh, it's a default version so yeah you can add do that you can add that too and you have tabs you have accordion this is good for question and answers this you have slideshow so everything you need to edit is over here in my opinion and my point is actually that uh, this uh, page fly is allowing you to edit every single thing and if you want to delete everything you can do that too obviously you don't want this just click on it delete it you don't want to delete it you don't want to delete it it's just it's on on you and you can also do like control z or just click on undo it will take it back uh on the right side that you can see that it has preview option click on it it will show you like how it will look like and save and publish it's on you so that's it this is all you need to know about how to create your landing page through pagefly and obviously shopify has been integrated to this pagefly app and one more tip if uh, like i want to give you that if you accidentally close this tab just say you have closed this tab okay on the left side you cannot see uh pagefly so just click on this arrow it will open up over here just click on it and it will open again so there's no worry about it and obviously you can see that uh, you have analytics you will track every single thing how what is going on on your page so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand what i've tried to say if you have any queries any questions just please comment down below and subscribe to our channel it would be very helpful thank you bye bye